Welcome back to our Sour series. Last week, we gave a quick overview to why you should be giving sour beers a try. And today, we're sampling and sharing some sours from three of the most classic sour beer styles. Lambic, Berliner Weiss, and Gosa. Whether you're just getting started with sours or already know that you love them, you're gonna wanna stay tuned as we orient you to these three styles through some delicious craft beer pours and sips. First up, Lambics. These tend to be some of the easiest to find sour beers. And what's unique about them is that they always have fruit added, often cherry or raspberry. No, don't bail on me here, all of you manly no fruit in my beer men. Just because there's fruit does not mean it's super sweet. In fact, depending on when they add the fruit during fermentation, it can lead to wildly different beers. So even within this one sour beer style of Lambics, there's quite a range of flavor profiles. What is common though, is that the sweetness of the fruit balances the sourness, making this a pretty easy drinking, middle of the road sour. So what we've poured here is a super classic style Lambic to share with you today. This is a Frambois by Ode a Beersel in Belgium. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, this primarily Lambic brewery was founded in 1882, and it's still independently owned and making delicious beers. So Frambois means raspberry in French. And when you take a sip of this, hmm, you feel like you're taking a bite of like fresh raspberry pie with the crust and all. You know how when raspberries are a little warm, they get that little bit more tart? It's that level of tartness, very slight, but also super familiar, at least to me. I love raspberries. Um, juicy, tart, almost a little bread-like, how I mentioned with that like crust of the imaginary pie. It's just super easy drinking and yummy and not too sour. On to Berliner Weiss. These are bottle-conditioned wheat beers. So if wheat beers are your jam, you may want to start here. They tend to be lower um, alcohol by volume and higher carbonation and a really nice balance of wheat, citrus, and tartness. I find them to have a nice, refreshing, lemony taste with an incredibly mild hop flavor as well. So if you dislike hop characteristics in your beers, this also may be the sour for you. The Berliner Weiss here that we are pouring is the Frederick H. from Brewery Tarot in Orange County, California. They focus solely on wild and sour beers, and this is a pretty traditional take on a Berliner Weiss with a slight twist from their local yeast cultures and the oak fermentation. This one is bright, refreshing, easy drinking because of the low ABV, but it is tart. Not in a super funky way though, just some really clean sour citrus notes supported by that kind of wheat backbone. If you love wheat beers already and you're ready to kind of jump in around that middle of the sour spectrum, it's not at the beginning of it, um, this is a great example of a Berliner Weiss with some real personality. Last, but certainly not least, is Gosa, another popular style of sour beers. These sometimes have fruit added, but not always. They're often actually compared to Berliner Weiss beers, but the difference is really, they always have salt and coriander added. So while fruit may be optional, salt and coriander are always part of Gosa, um, and that's added in the brewing process. Not so much that the beer tastes like those things necessarily, but they do play with the sourness really nicely, and you do get a little bit of that saltiness to it. And I mean, with the salt, it's practically a sports drink, right? So thirst quenching on a hot summer day. Speaking of thirst quenching, let's try this one. For this one, I have a pretty traditional Gosa called Troublesome, made by Off Color Brewing in Chicago, Illinois. On your first sip of this, you notice some nice lemon tartness, yet I would describe it as only mildly sour, very mild actually. It also has a really nice depth of flavor brought to the forefront by that touch of salt. Um, you know how when they say adding salt when you're cooking kind of brings the flavors all together? Well, I would say it's the same with beer. Um, I think if you're nervous about trying sours, this could be the perfect sour for you to start out with. So what do you think? Are you intrigued yet? 
If so, head on over to thecraftycast.com for lots more sour beer content. Just click right up here and of course, get on out there and start trying some sour beers for yourself and let us know how it's going in the comments below. Thirsting for some more sours? Me too! Lucky for you, next week we're doing a similar show, but this time focused on some of the fun and crazy things going on with American sours that don't fall quite as cleanly into the three categories we covered today. It's one you definitely don't want to miss because we'll be drinking a lot more great sours, including some from OEC. And man, do they have a wild, fun backstory and cool beers. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel now so you don't forget and miss it. Until next time, drink craft and drink local.